to corgis. From your cute pointy ears to your curly fluffy tail, your face is too adorable with each delightful detail. I love the way you bark or sleep, fetch, run, race, or even bleed. Whenever I start to think of you, a smile just lights up my face. When I'm blue or anxious, you will always cheer me up. You're so friendly and obedient, so joyful and very cooperative, smart, intelligent, and watchful, easy to train, and quite energetic, never resistant of cuddling or playtime. What's life without this bundle of joy? Go to Sharks by Aiden Peters. As movies were made of you, it had people afraid of you. But I love your beautiful species, and you are my favorite animal. You have thousands of pearly white teeth, glistening through the ocean all day. Powerful fins that are like wings. I adore the unique patterns of your species, from stripes on the tiger sharks to spots on the whale sharks. You're always on the move, impossible for you to stay still. A Walk in the Woods by Mae Jennings. Crunch, 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 the sound of nature beneath my feet. The fallen leaves have formed a thick and crispy sheet. A cool, unsettled gust is in the autumn air. The wind gently blows my hair here and there. My gaze drifts up towards the top of a beech tree. Few leaves remain on the long brown branches I see. The ground is covered with leaves ranging big to small painted crimson and gold by the old artist wall. Stop, stand, listen, observe. I hear another sound. The feet of little creatures scampering around. In the trees are brown squirrels and colorful birds. The birds trip their song, just melody, with no words. While sitting and meditating, I lift my head. The sky is colored with blue, pink, orange, and red. I've spent the whole day through the woods I did roam. The sun is almost gone. It is time to head home.